item discrimination id is one component of the item analysis of multiple choice question exam the id analysis can be used to evaluate the quality of items or questions in an exam and one way to do item discrimination analysis is to use the equation proposed by Kelly's. Item discrimination, abbreviated ID, is a method proposed by Kelly in 1939. It is a measure of whether an item which is a question in this case distinguishes between students who learned the subject content well and students who did not the measure is based on the comparison of performance between excellent and poor students in the exam as a whole the item discrimination is calculated by arranging the student total score from the test in a descending order. Group the students based on their scores into upper group and lower group. The upper group contains the top 27% of overall scores and the lower group includes the lowest 27% of overall scores. Count the number of the correct items in the upper group and then count the number of the correct items in the lower group. Then subtract the correct questions in the bottom group from the correct questions in the top group then use the Kelly's formula to calculate the item discrimination as given here the ID equal to upper group minus lower group divided by 27% of total student ie calculating the upper group proportion and the lower group group proportion and subtracting them to get the ID. An ID percentage also can be calculated by multiplying the ID product with 100. Now, the item discrimination values range from minus 1 to plus 1 based on the equation of Kelly's the outcome of the calculation have a range of minus one to plus one positive value of plus one indicates that the item is discriminating between high performer and low performers and plus one indicates a perfectly discriminating item zero value means that the item is not discriminating between high performers and low performers on the other hand negative value of minus one means that the item discriminates perfectly except that low performing students answering item correctly and high performing student answering it wrongly as shown here in the table the range for the id va value is uh, listed and the item are classified as either bad item when the id value is from 0 to 0.24 that is based on Kelly's formula good item when the value is between 0.25 to 0.39 excellent item when the value is between 0.4 and 1 if the 
ID value is minus, then the item is very bad and it is recommended to remove and exclude the item from the exam or the test. In the next slide, on the left hand side, a table for a data extracted from an exam that contains 10 multiple choice questions and the questions were answered by 20 students and each correct answer for each multiple choice question the value for correct answer is inserted as one and the value for incorrect answer or wrong answer is placed as zero and to determine whether these questions are good or bad whether they can discriminate between high performing student and low performing student item discrimination analysis can be performed and the first step in the analysis is to calculate the total score achieved by each individual participant or student i.e. for student number one count all the correct answer as given in the column on the right hand side which shows the total score so using the item discrimination equation given here below the next step is to rank this total score achieved by each individual student from high to low in a descending order as shown here in this slide once this order is performed the next step is to divide the students into upper group and lower group the upper group will represent the top 27 percent of the total score of the student that had uh, uh, achieved highly and the lower group will represent the lowest 27 percent of the student who scored uh, lowest score so in this case we have 20 students and to 27 percent out, out of 20 is nearly equal to six so we're going to select six six students from the who have high scores and six students from the who have lowest score uh, using the equation given below here and as it's shown in the rows showing the upper group the upper group will have the first six uh, the scores for the first six students who had achieved highly scored highly so we count the number of the correct score for the first question and it's found to be two and uh, and this is the same for question number two three four up to number 10 as shown by num uh, question number 10 that uh, um, six students answered the question correctly and at the same time also calculate the lower group by counting the number of uh, the student who had scored correctly for this question for question number one no one has scored so it's zero for question number two six student had answered the question correctly and for question number 10 only three students had answered the question correctly once the upper group and the lower group are calculated and determined using the formula or the equation given here uh, then the item discrimination can be calculated by um, using the value here of upper uh, minus then the lower the value in the lower group for each individual item and then divide that by six because we only have six in each group 
and a value for item discrimination is generated ranging from minus one to one uh, passing the zero value again we can see here one of the questions here have a zero value for id uh, one question that have a minus also question number six id value and uh, question number five have a high positive id value